So I want to deal with a topic this morning entitled Sacrifice of Praise. Sacrifice of Praise. Hebrews 13, 15 says this. Therefore by Him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. Now, what does that mean? Firstly, a word sacrifice means something that is costing you. Okay? It is costing you. Now, when would it cost you to give thanks to God when nothing is happening? Listen carefully. When nothing is going right and it looks like all hell is broken loose on you, on your family, or whatever you are busy with. And then that's the worst time or the time that you least want to give God thanks and praise. Because why do I want to give God praise when I'm in the midst of a battle and it's a mess? You see, the thing is this. God does not work like a normal human being. In other words, if somebody does something for me, then I'll go and say thank you. All right? Let me give you an example. Um, somebody comes and replaces my geezer. Somebody comes into my house and puts in the geezer, does the job, says it's all sharp, it's working. Then I'll go, thank you. You have done something for me and I can now say thank you for what you've done in my, in, in my situation. But God does not work like that. God works like this. You give thanks by faith. In other words, I'm trusting you that this is going to happen even though I don't see it happening right now. Let me read it again. Therefore, let, him, let us continually excuse me, offer a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks to his name. So that means continually giving thanks to God for what God is going to do in our situation. Knowing that God is great. Knowing that God is all powerful. Nothing is impossible for God. God can easily do this. But that he is going to do it. Because you are trusting him in it. And you are giving a sacrifice of praise. In the midst of something that's a crisis. Now I want to say this. If we can get this right folks. We are going to see some supernatural things take place in our lives. But the question is this. Is are we doing this? Or do we only give thanks to God when the victory is there and the breakthrough has happened? I want to say that we need to know. That God is busy with something miraculous in each one of our lives. And He's growing us up. He's busy with all of us. But we are expected to give Him praise no matter what the circumstances, good or bad. Because God is looking for us to make Him our source and our only source in Jesus' name. God is our source and our only source in the name of Jesus. So this morning, when we come around the table, I want us to make a decision today. Good or bad, the Lord is going to get a sacrifice of praise from me. No matter what my circumstances are. I've been there so many times, folks. I have literally been there. I know what it's like. But I can honestly say that in the time that you're there, it doesn't look like you can't see how God's going to sort this one out. But let me tell you, God always pulls you through. God has always brought my family through. No matter how dark the days have been. Have we been through trouble? Yes. Have we been through drama? Yes. But we had to learn now to have a sacrifice of praise no matter what we see in the natural and God turns it. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. 
The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So right now, when we come around the table, let us ask God to change our attitude. To not focus on what we see, feel and experience around us, but to focus on God's word and to continually give a sacrifice of praise. Lord, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, intention. Lord, whatever it may be, we ask you please to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now, I thank you that as we stand holy and righteous before you, Lord, I pray that you'll minister to our hearts. And Lord, that we will truly start giving a continual sacrifice of praise from our mouths. Lord, I thank you right now that you're going to do something supernatural in our lives. And Lord, I thank you that you are going to change our lives. You're going to shift where we at. And Lord, that the blessing of the Lord is going to rest on each and every one of us. And Lord, I thank you right now that you will make you our source and our only source in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Father, right now, I thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus, I thank you for the price that you paid on the cross. And in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Lord, that we are healed. Lord, we are healed from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. I command every symptom of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move by your spirit in our lives like never before. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for the power that flows. And Lord, right now in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you that we walk in divine health and divine healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's Saturday. I trust that you are having an awesome, awesome time. As for us, um, in, uh, in Israel, we are busy getting ready to come back to PRP, back to South Africa. All right. It's our last day in Israel. And, uh, tonight we are going to be boarding an airplane, traveling through the night. And then tomorrow we will be back in South Africa, ready to go. Amen. I want to tell you now, it's been an awesome trip. You go, how do you know that? This is a pre-recording. Hey, I, I know the Israel trips. I can promise you, you can ask anybody who's been with us. It was awesome. It was always amazing. Amen. All right, so I want to just pray for our families today. I want to pray that God is going to do something supernatural over our families. Let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our families. We stand in united prayer. Lord, I pray that every one of our families will be solid, secure, and Lord, full of destiny and purpose. Lord, I pray for any loved one that is not serving you. Lord, I pray right now that you'll draw them in by your love. And Lord, that our families will serve you. They will be blessed and they will be obedient to what you have called them to do in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing that rests on every single one of them. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said... Amen and amen. Well, folks, it's Saturday, so we've got a guest speaker tonight, so please get ready, 7 o'clock tonight. And I want to just say thank you to all of those that are helping us with uh, these teachings. You know, I always believe in a variety of gifting, and I trust that you have grown from what you have heard and the teachings that have come from all of these teachers. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name. I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I have not had to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor and go do what God has called you to do. And remember this, Keep an eye out on all of the Israel clips that we are posting. I trust they've been a blessing for you.